Hello, my name is Jonathan Grant. I am currently a PGY1 community pharmacy resident with the Johns Hopkins Home Care Group. And this is my research project on evaluating the, the impact of a pediatric weight based dosing procedure in outpatient pharmacy. And I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out my poster. Uh, so to begin with the background, um, the pediatric population is a, um, is a population that is susceptible to a lot of errors for, for many reasons. And one of them is because of their, because of the, um, the, the, can we pause and restart it? Hello, my name is Jonathan Grant. I am currently a PGY1 community pharmacy resident with the Johns Hopkins Home Care Group. And I am here to talk about my research project on evaluating the impact of a pediatric weight-based dosing procedure in outpatient pharmacy. Thank you for stopping by and listening to my poster session. Um, so I want to start with the background. And the background of this project is that the pediatric population is a population that is susceptible to a lot of errors, um, in most part because their weights can vary widely. You're going to have a five-year-old that is, is very small or very large. So the age is not often a, a, um, a factor that we can always use and assume that a dose is safe for a patient when it when it comes to their medication, um, and in one uh, in many of our uh, in many of our outpatient pharmacies, we do not have a standardized um, weight-based dosing procedure in place for our pediatric population. Um, so here at, at Johns Hopkins, we actually do have a pediatric weight-based dosing procedure, and this project was, the purpose was to show if, if there was a, a true value in this um, type of, in this type of, of a procedure. Um, one study that was conducted by Dr. Mick Phillips and colleagues has showed that, um, that in, in the pediatric, out, in, in pediatric outpatient procedures, prescriptions that there were as many as 15% of errors um, within that population. And that was a retrospective study as well. Um, but this poster here shows um, specifically errors that were caught from this pediatric weight-based dosing procedure. Um, so the 15% it's going to be a lot larger than what we will see based off of this study alone. So the objectives of this study were to describe the percentage of, out, of outpatient pediatric prescriptions that were associated with um, some type of a, a prescribing error um, and, and to describe the percentage of those that had, that had actually resulted in a um, dosage change. Um, so, and, and for our secondary objectives, so we wanted to actually describe those categories of prescribing errors. We wanted to take a look at and see if these errors were associated with our um, ISMP high alert types of medications, such as antiretrovirals and chemotherapy, immunosuppressants, hypoglycemics, or Opioids. We wanted to to describe the demographics of the population. So we wanted to look at their weights and their ages and their gender and see if there was a relationship with the um, with any of those and the types of errors that were um, identified. We wanted to also see if um, if there was if there was a difference in error rates among um, prescribers. So we were talking about 
house staff and non-house staff prescribers. And also, if handwritten or computer-generated prescriptions were associated with um, more errors. So let's go over here to the methods section. Um, this the demographic here describes the process that we use for, for the weight-based dosing procedure. And if we look here at the pre-verification pharmacist, so here at Johns Hopkins, we use a Q-based system. And, um, and what happens is, so, so at each of these steps, the prescription is sent to a new queue. And, um, and in the pre-verification queue, this pharmacist makes sure that everything that the data entry technician typed in um, is accurate and correct. And if it's a pediatric prescription, this pharmacist will also um, check in and will refer to and cite a credible source such as lexicon or micromedics or clinical pharmacology and, um, and make sure that the medication dose is appropriate. 